This is a Love at Physics video showing you how to do a typical exam question on half-life and the decay constant. If you would like, you can have a go at this question first and then pause the video and then you can listen to my explanation after. So if you want to do the question yourself or have a go, pause the video now. Okay, so the first thing that we want to do with any sort of maths question is write down the stuff that we know. So we know at the moment that uh, the starting activity here, A0, which is the activity from a living tree, is 9.6 disintegrations per minute. Now we'll talk about units in a second, but for now we'll just put 9.6. Then we've got the activity later on, so A um, in however many thousand years is 2.1 disintegrations per minute. We've also got the half-life, 5,500 years. Again, we'll talk about units in a second. And we want to find out the decay constant. And we need to use this value to estimate the age of carbon found at the campsite. Okay, well the first thing that we can do, like the question suggests, is find the decay constant first. So we know that our decay constant is the natural log of 2 divided by the half-life. And that gives us, if you put that in your calculator, it gives us about 1.26 times 10 to the minus 4 years to the minus one. Now next we want to find out the age of the carbon found at the campsite and to do that I'm going to take an equation from the data booklet which is a equals lambda n naught e to the minus lambda t and we want to find t. Now we don't have n naught but we do have lambda but what we do know is that a is lambda n so a naught must be lambda n naught because the decay constant is really just a ratio between the activity and the number of radioactive nuclei. So if we use that and put that in there, then we end up with A equals A naught E to the minus lambda T. Now this is where the units start to come in. So if we do A over A naught, that's just a ratio, so it doesn't matter what units they're in, as long as they're in the same units, we can use whatever we want. So here on this side, we're going to have 2.1 divided by 9.6 is E to the minus lambda T. We can take natural logs of both sides, so then we end up with lin 2.1 over 9.6 is minus lambda t and if we put that into our calculators with lambda being 1.26 times 10 to the minus 4 years again we've got years to the minus 1 here and that'll just give us a t in years so as long as the decay constant and the age and the half-life are all in the same unit then we don't need to change those around either. This is going to give us a time in years. And if we rearrange that equation, then we end up with T is 12,100 years. And that's our answer. If that was helpful, please do subscribe or check out some of my other videos. Thanks.